It's already hopping for some New Year's Eve hoops. Head coach Bo Ryan's new look Badgers of Wisconsin off to a 10 and one start. One of the reasons the inside play of sophomore Brian Butch. For Pitt, Jamie Dixon's Panthers 10 and 0 for the third straight year. Center Aaron Gray has six double doubles in those 10 victories for Pittsburgh. It's the Big East and the Big Ten from Pittsburgh next. New Year's Eve on the campus of the University of Pittsburgh, and we have a terrific college basketball matchup as these two teams finish up the 2005 part of their schedule. Both ranked in the top 25. Wisconsin has lost once. The Panthers of Pittsburgh are undefeated. We welcome you inside the Peterson Event Center. I'm John Sanders along with Mike Kelly, and we'll spend a good part of tonight taking a look at a couple of very big guys near seven feet inside. Well, you're right. The big storyline of tonight's game actually is a big storyline. We're going to be watching these two guys right here. Brian Butch, 6'11", center for Wisconsin. Wisconsin and Aaron Gray, the seven-foot center for Pittsburgh. Both of these guys are big, but they play different games. For Wisconsin, Brian Butch likes to use the swing offense to get outside. He's got six made three-pointers on the year, and he's very comfortable facing the basket. Pittsburgh going to have to get out and guard him. And then for Pittsburgh, it's Aaron Gray, the seven-foot center, works inside, gets a lot of rebounds. He leads the Big East in rebounding and double-doubles, and what he does best is mix it up inside. It is the final non-conference game for both of these teams. They're both in the top 25. It is a terrific matchup, a tune-up for conference play, which begins next week. We'll have the starting lineups from Pittsburgh. Happy New Year, everyone. Thanks for watching. Big East game is being brought to you by Hyundai with quality that lets them offer America's best warranty. 10 years, 100,000 miles. Oppenheimer funds the right way to invest. And by Advance Auto Parts for the best parts, people, and prices we're ready in advance. One car was ranked most appealing entry midsize by J.D. Power and Associates and earned Strategic Vision's Total Quality Award. And it wasn't Toyota or Honda. It was the Pontiac G6 sedan, designed to be one of the best cars in the world. And now, we've created another. The new 240 horsepower G6 Coupe. Now during Pontiac's Red Tag event, G6 starts at 15932 The price on the tag is the price you pay, not a penny more. service anticipates your needs. Business class is different on British Airways. It is a matchup of top 25 teams, Wisconsin at number 22, Pittsburgh at number 23. We are on the campus of the University of Pittsburgh. There are the starting lineups for tonight's ball game. Leading scorer, and you'll recognize him, Orlando Tucker. He's got the little face mask he'll be wearing tonight, along with Chapel Butch. Taylor and Nixon for the Panthers, Kendall DeGroat, Gray, Ramon, and Krauser, the leading scorer. Bo Ryan, of course, now in his fifth season at the helm, had great success in the Division three ranks in the state of, uh, of Wisconsin. And Jamie Dixon, all he's done since coming to Pittsburgh, taking over from Ben Howland, is win. He's off to his third consecutive 10-0 start. Our referee tonight is going to be uh, Jim Burr, Tim Higgins, and Mike Roberts of the umpires. And we'll keep a close eye on the big guys, although as you said, Mike, the one thing about Brian Butch, you better watch him because he'll move outside. Well, this is going to be very interesting tonight to see Aaron Gray for Pittsburgh, who's been able to play very well early on this season, but it hasn't come up against a real big body like Brian Butch or even Greg Steams with a 6'11 uh, center coming off the bench for Wisconsin. So it'll be quite a matchup to watch these two teams play, especially with the big guys inside. Peterson Event Center is sold out for the fourth consecutive year. In the opening tip, scramble for it, and it's picked off by Butch. He hands it to number 23. That's Taylor. Get a first look at Wisconsin's swing offense here. They're going to make Pitt work very hard on defense, run them off a lot of screens, work big guys inside and outside, get the guards inside as well. 
When you can see that Aaron Gray is outside on Butch, who now penetrates into the lane, turns, shoots, bending just short, and Krause scrambling for the rebound. It's knocked out of bounds, and it'll stay Wisconsin basketball. Good first possession here for Pittsburgh as they were able to do a good job of defending Brian Butch inside, making him shoot a jump shot over the top, and now it looks like Pitt's going to get the ball back. So the Panthers will bring it up. 30 seconds into this first half. A lot of the same on offense for Pittsburgh. Going to be half court game with a lot of screens. There they go inside and the finish inside by Aaron Gray. Well he slipped the screen. He set a nice screen for Carl Krauser. And when Wisconsin gave help he slipped all the way to the basket. It was a design play a very very well executed play by Pitt. Tucker in the corner. He'll shoot a three. A little strong. Tipped out. Tracked down by Taylor. And a foul call on Ron Ramon, the sophomore from the Bronx. And the Bronx in New York City is an area where Pittsburgh has been very successful in recruiting. Yeah, Pittsburgh doing a great job of recruiting, getting a lot of good players out of New York City, and everybody knows the talent pool that's there. and back out comes Chapel. Now Taylor will stop and go move. That's Nixon, the only senior on the roster. Nixon for three. That's primarily what he does, and he's been doing it well of late. Well, he does it very well. It's interesting because a lot of his offense really is outside the arc, but yet he still manages to find those open looks right there. Nice job of passing the ball inside and then dishing back out once the defense sags. It has been an area of problem for Pittsburgh is defending the three. The opponent's been shooting pretty well. Krauser's first move down the lane. Now Kendall will spot for three. That one's on the way. Rattles in and out and back in. Levon Kendall. That's just his third three-pointer this season. But he can score. I mean, he can light it up. He scored 40 in a game against Team USA, a junior team. But anybody can put up 40 points knows how to score. He is a redshirt. Panthers have been very good at redshirting and keeping guys around for four or five years. And speaking of five, that's a five-second call on Orlando Tucker. So the turnover will give it back to the University of Pittsburgh, up by two with 17:42. We're just underway. This building in its fourth year, and it's a unique building. As a matter of fact, when they were building it, they went to Wisconsin and took a look at that building. Yeah, it actually is interesting to be in here. I played in the Cole Center for four years, and that was a brand new facility when we started playing. And a lot of uh, similar things that you see here in the Peterson Center. Short on the three, weak side rebound is brought out of there by Chapel. Now Taylor on the move. Gray will slow him down. So far, Pitt's done a very good job of staying sound defensively. Other than that three they gave up to Nixon, they've really bothered Wisconsin, but it's early. Taylor for three, and he nails that one. You talked about defending the three, and we see two of them early right now. To work on closing out quickly when that ball is rotated. Wisconsin will move the ball. Well, he's a good three point shooter. That is his 30th in 54 attempts. We've got a blocking foul on LeVon Kendall. He'll pick up number one. Wisconsin with his second one point lead. Both of the, the baskets have been three pointers, and they go quickly to the bench. Flowers will check in. Take a look at Gray banging down low. And he couldn't handle that rebound. Butch with it. Jump hook. Good. Brian Butch's first basket. He's averaging about 12 points a ball game. Well, we knew we were going to see a lot of this, these big guys inside, but that's something Brian Butch is really going to have to do more and more. Use that size to get that hook shot off. That's more of an Aaron Gray type move. Brian Butch would like to face up from the outside. Kimball looks inside, goes back to Ramon. Almost four minutes gone. Krauser, a runner, bends out. Rebounded, brought down by Chapel. Here's Taylor on the move now. Panthers are three for six shooting. The Badgers two for three in the first four minutes. Another three by Taylor. That's too strong. And Kendall in right position for the rebound. 
Back comes Ronald Ramon. Kendall has one three. Can't hit on that one. DeGroat tried to keep it alive, but it's saved and brought out of there by Michael Flowers. Flowers, a terrific defensive player, has 19 steals already. Yeah, he really is. And we're going to see a lot of great defense out of you tonight, both individual and team defense. These two teams really are mirror images of each other. They are. They'd like to play half court offense and defense. They do it very well. And that dead ball will take us to our first timeout. The early lead by three to Wisconsin. Create your own holiday feast at Red Lobster. Combine two or three of your seafood favorites from 10 signature dishes, including our tender snow crab. Turn a meal into a celebration this holiday at Red Lobster. Act now to save big at Hyundai's All-Star Sales Event. The all-new Hyundai Sonata is a Consumer's Digest Best Buy and just received five stars, the government's highest crash safety rating. Hurry to save on the Sonata and more, up to 4,000 cash back on select models, with Hyundai's award-winning quality backed by America's best warranty. Don't miss this once-a-year opportunity only through January 3rd at Hyundai. During Hyundai's all-star sales event, get up to 4,000 cash back through January 3rd. Create your own holiday feast at Red Lobster. Combine two or three of your seafood favorites from 10 signature dishes, including our tender snow crab. Turn a meal into a celebration this holiday at Red Lobster. What is the color of innocence? What is the color of bravado? What is the color of passion? What is the color of defiance? Life is color, and no other HD television shows it more vibrantly than the Panasonic Plasma, America's best-selling plasma TV. Panasonic, ideas for life. Although it's over in Chester near Philadelphia. Three pointer, that's been a big weapon so far for the Badgers. Well, it really has. It's kind of surprising. You see, Wisconsin, two of their two of four from three point land, but four of their six shots are threes. In fact, on both sides of the ball, seven of the 11 total field goals have been three pointers. And I think that's a byproduct of the solid defense. Right now, when you get a good look, you got to take it, even if it's outside the three point land. Cameron Taylor handles. Chapel. To Bush baseline. Tucker up and in. He took a blow to the face, obviously, and that's the reason he wears the mask. That's his first basket, too. That's right. That's a nice set play right there out of the timeout. You see a nice rotation. Tucker just leveraging for position the whole time and able to go up with it. Biggest lead so far by either team. 7 0 run has a five point lead working right now. And he put the feet down before the ball. So Sam Young, the freshman who played terrific against South Carolina, Pittsburgh's first real road game of the season. And a victory for them made them 10 and 0. You'll see a lot of playing time as he comes off the bench. Also set to check in is Levance Field. That's Book outside. As you mentioned, he's got six three pointers. There's a steal, a bad pass. Ron Ramon has some help trailing the play, lays it off to Krauser, a blocking foul. So the foul will go on Taylor. Well, Brian Butch hesitated. I actually think he might have had two chances to take a three early on in this possession. Instead, he passes them up and tried to drive and kick back. And a nice steal right there by Ramon. And then just a late, little bit late sliding over for Cameron Taylor of Wisconsin, and Krauser gets to go to the line for a couple three ones. 
Krause, the redshirt senior from the Bronx, gets his first point of the evening. Panthers cut into that five-point lead. Checking in is Greg Steamsma. He is a 6'11 guy, and he'll probably stay inside. He's not going to wander too far, is he? Exactly. No, this is going to be very much a mirror for Aaron Gray to see himself and how he plays. Steamsma, very good inside. It, it attacks. He really is a presence when other teams, when opponents, when opponents are driving in the lane. He leads the team or tied to the team lane and blocks. Well, Brian Butch is going to sit down for the first time as Marcus Landry, one of the freshmen, and they've got a ton of young players on this team. Eleven freshmen and sophomores. They have really had to rebuild because that outstanding crew that they had is gone. Of course, the crew that was led by the terrific player over the years of Mike Wilkinson. Yeah, Mike Wilkinson really did a good job. And you can see some of that leadership that he left behind here in this Wisconsin team. A very poised team, much like Mike was. A traveling violation. Third turnover by Wisconsin. Sends it back the other way. Badgers lead by four. 10-6. We played just over five minutes. What great success he had over the years. University of Wisconsin Platteville and also University of Wisconsin Milwaukee. One of the all time leading uh, winning his coaches right now active coaches certainly has quite a resume to his name. Krauser a runner good. That's the first basket for Pittsburgh in almost four minutes. First field goal tonight for Carl Krauser. Two point ball game. The only loss for the Badgers of Wisconsin was in the ACC Big Ten Challenge. They lost at Wake Forest, the ranked team. That three-pointer is too strong. Ripping down and racing back with the rebound is Benjamin. Pulls up for the foul line jumper. Bending off, tipped away, and scramble under the basket. Right into the hands of Tucker. Numbers not there for Orlando Tucker, so he resets to Taylor. Shot clock at 13 as the shot is too strong. Goes right into the hands of LeVance Fields. What a solid job by Pittsburgh there on defense. Just staying true to their fundamentals. The entire possession was able to keep Wisconsin from scoring. That's a good job, and that's something they have to do every time throughout all 40 minutes. Crowds are inside off the Young feet. Now Young starts to move down the lane. Gray along the baseline. No place to go. They have to start over with 15 on the shot clock. Well, we're going to see a lot of this. A lot of resets, nothing there. Pull it back out and try to reset the offense. That's because both these teams play great defense. That's shot clock now, a problem. They're going to have to get it off. Young, baseline runner, too strong. Offensive foul. Sam Young coming off that career high 16 point game at South Carolina. And he turns it back the other way with an offensive foul. You see him trying, Sam Young trying to get into the flow of this game. Obviously, coming off that 16.7 rebounds performance at South Carolina looking to build on that. Landry has it. He's being covered by Sam Young, the freshman. Looks like Wisconsin trying to work the ball in the Tucker inside. I think they like their matchup right now. Get That's best. Tucker outside for three and he comes up short. Fields to Benjamin. Behind the back in the lane. Still has it. Puts it up and in. Thought he had a tough time hanging on to it, but he got it to go. Yeah, all those uh, hours in the weight room paid off right there. Strong finish. We are tied at 10. Almost stolen and a foul. The second on Sam Young, the freshman from Clinton, Maryland. Let's take a look at some other scores on this New Year's Eve, the final day of college basketball for 2005. Duke number one rolled over MC Greensboro. Reddick with 35. It was Villanova whipping up on Temple in the Big Five. Arizona in two overtimes outlast number seven Washington. That's a big win for the Wildcats. That's right. Michigan State number nine. We'll talk more about Michigan State at halftime. And Louisville in the Orange Bowl Classic defeats Miami, a former member of the Big East. In Boston College, a winner over Rhode Island. Loose ball inside. Brought down that time by Terrell Biggs. This is Krauser again. Krauser won't sit very often. He penetrates, scoops and scores. Well, how about that move? Well, he's just so good at getting inside. He's got the confidence in that savvy, knowing how he can get the ball up, even when there's big seven-footers down low. And the foul's going to go against Pitt. It goes on number five, Terrell Biggs. We have a timeout with 11.31 to play. Pittsburgh by two. There are always new races to be run, new challenges to be met. 
But success still comes from having a plan and the courage to follow it. And it's easier to reach your goals when you have talented people on your side. These principles are the keys to investment performance today and tomorrow. Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. Carefully consider fund investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses. Call your advisor for a prospectus with this and other fund information. Read it carefully before investing. I'm a Mecca Okafor, college graduate, Charlotte Bobcat, and proud recipient of the Aeropost Style Big E Scholar Athlete of the Year. Graduating with a 3.76 GPA and a degree in finance in three years, I balance books and basketball. Aeropostyle gives out more than $300,000 in scholarships to both students and student athletes. It wasn't and still isn't all about the rebounds. Anybody need a ride home? Continental flies to the most international destinations of any U.S. airline. So no matter where business takes you, so do we. Continental Airlines. Work hard, fly right. Love based on true compatibility is a life-changing experience. Each day we find something else that we have in common, and it's like, this is nuts. And it just keeps adding to the love pile, and it just builds and builds, and it's just amazing. To me, eHarmony makes the term soulmate really come true. Experience the power of love based on true compatibility. It starts with your compatibility profile. A $50 value, yours free. eHarmony.com. Visit us today. Pittsburgh has the lead 12-10, and the guy that's kind of taking the game into his hands right now is Carl Krauser. Well, one of the things he's going to be remembered for is that tenacity and the ability as a small guy to go inside and get the shots off among the Giants. And you see right there, just a great job of staying strong with the basketball, not getting knocked off and finishing at the basket. Uh, Wisconsin had its 7-0 run, and the Panthers have answered with theirs. One of the big differences, though, in the game and the team foul situation, five already on Pittsburgh, just one on Wisconsin. Could be a factor before the half is over. We'll see. Many of those five for Pittsburgh, great ticky-tack foul, stuff they could have done without. Not aggressive foul, just silly one. Fourth turnover by the Badgers. The Panthers have it. This is Graves. Looks to Fields. Now to Grote, who was out early. And did not play very much in the South Carolina game. They took him out quickly. He didn't come back. Fields passes on the three. DeGroat will shoot a three. And hit it. So John DeGroat, the senior of junior college transfer in his second year here, makes it a five-point Panther lead. Their biggest. He got the early hook in the South Carolina game. Only got two minutes and then didn't see the court again. And right now, looks like he wants to stay out there. Nice shot. Foul underneath the reach-in foul. And that goes in Antonio Graves. So the Panther run is now at 10-0 against Wisconsin. You know, one of the things about DeGroat, I think, is when he gets started early and stays hot, he really gets in the ball game. But if he doesn't, he kind of takes himself out of it. A good sign for Pittsburgh that he made that three. Well, obviously, his coach doesn't like him when he doesn't start well. He takes That's him out sure. and didn't put him back in. There's the three. And that's too strong. I think that Brian Butch hurried that shot that time. You see, he did. Didn't really get himself set. Fields gives it back up to Graves. Now Fields will try a three, and he spins it in. He is 11 for 19 in three-pointers, and the Panthers have a 13-0 run working right now against Wisconsin. You can see the momentum right now carrying Pittsburgh on defense as well. Tucker was challenged and fouled by Antonio Graves. Six different Panthers have scored in the game. Four of the five starters have done the scoring for Wisconsin. But right now, it's Pittsburgh leading by eight. It's one of the things Orlando Tucker does so well for Wisconsin is using his body to create good passing lanes. By the time he got that ball, he was right at the hoop. And you saw how he was able to hang in the air long enough to draw the foul. But they say he has struggled somewhat shooting the free throws. And some people are wondering if it might not be that mask. Well, there was a lot of buzz about his free throw shooting. But he's always kind of been a streaky shooter. He's had games where he's made 13 in a row. But he had a portion of this non-conference schedule for Wisconsin where he was having trouble from the free throw line. But still shooting just over 50% on the year. So that's not very good for a scorer. He hits two here. Has four in the game. 
And Tucker, the leading scorer at 17 and a half points a game, and he ends that 13-0 Pittsburgh run. Kendall looks back door, nothing there. Fields passes on the three. What a pass to Kendall on a foul. Chapel will pick up the foul. That's a great, great pass. Oh, what a look by Fields. And Kendall, a great job of cutting to the basket, but in the end, it's that point guard. Has to be able to get on the ball left-handed. Just a great wraparound pass right there. Set up that entire play. And now Kendall's going to get to go to the line for another one. He has a three-pointer and looking for a three-point play. He converts. So six early points for Kendall leads the scoring. The Panthers have a nine-point lead. Their largest, this is Taylor. It was a dead ringer for Chris Rock. <laughs> Butch looked inside, nothing there. That's that Panther defense. So he decides to take it inside, has it knocked away. They turn it over. Five turnovers. Fake, left hand, but no basket. It's a beautiful move, he's taking one less step. Yep, on the playgrounds, they don't call that. They're going to have to call it right now. If you take a look at just one of the many tricks Kyle Krauser has. That was pretty close, actually. It was close. So interestingly enough, Tucker didn't really bite on the fake, but Krauser still was able to put it up with his left hand over Lando Tucker. Nine and a half to play in the opening half. I tell you what, John, does it feel like a conference game to you? I mean, yes, it does. All the makings of a Big East or a Big Ten game. Well, it's, as you said, the fun is over for these teams. Conference play begins next week. That is going to be a foul, and it's going to be a two-shot foul. The foul will go on LeVon Kendall. He'll pick up number two. That's already 18 fouls on the University of Pittsburgh, only two against the Badgers. Orlando Tucker, a guy who is a redshirt junior because he was hurt early in the season two years ago and took a medical redshirt. But to think Tucker's going to be around for one more year for yep. Wisconsin. I think folks in the Big Ten are already sick of him. He's <laughs> I'm done sure they so are. much for Wisconsin. He's such a great player and he's got another year on top of this one to go. It's just like people in the Big East being sick of <laughs> Carl Krauser. Yeah, he's now a fifth year senior. That's they right. thought he was going to go to the NBA, but no, he's back. Yep. Anytime you have a player at a young age in a freshman or sophomore year that makes a name for themselves and then they take a redshirt season, boy, you just think you're never going to get rid That's of right. They, they played forever. Nine minutes to go in the half. And a good one so far. Krauser looking back door to Kendall. This time it's shut off and he comes back outside. Rebound by Taylor. Spins away that time from Aaron Gray underneath. Brings it back. Steamsma almost lost it. Tucker saves it. Gets in traffic. That basket is good. By Greg Steamsma, a sophomore from Randolph, Wisconsin. That's pretty much a homegrown team. Nine of their, their players are from the state of Wisconsin. Yes, it is. You see Wisconsin right now going big. Oh, he missed the dead straight layup and then made a foul. How about that? Oh, that's costly, isn't it? Certainly is. On Gray. That's his first foul. He's also number nine on Pitt here in the first half. Checking back in is Michael Flower. Going to the bench is Ray Nixon. You, know, you look at these two rosters, you've got like 28 to 30 players, and there's a grand total of three seniors. Isn't that something? And such great teams, too. I mean, the, the few seniors that they are, these teams don't play like they're very young, very experienced and poised, too. Steamsmith to the line. Sam Young, the freshman, is returned for Pittsburgh. He wants the rebound. It's going to be great. <laughs> you get one for that? I think three bounces, no rebound. <laughs> Eight minutes left in the opening half. Panthers' biggest lead has been nine. Badgers had a five point lead early on. Gray spins inside, and he's fouled before the shot. And that's what we'll see. I mean, you've got the other big guys. Steamsman can give up some fouls in there if he has to. Yeah, he certainly can. That's the advantage for Wisconsin is having two of those big guys down low. Right there with Greg Steamsman. He's got his hands down by his waist. Sort of like a pushing foul. It's going to get called every time. There's Krauser at the baseline. Throws it away. Racing back the other way is Flowers. Finds Tucker and he's fouled from behind by Gray. Well, that's why that silly one that he just picked up after the bunny really hurts for Pittsburgh. Is you, you waste one that you didn't need, and now you give up that. And that is the fourth Panther with two fouls here in the first half. So it's been a foul-prone first half for Pitt. 
before you go here. Before you attempt this. And before you even think about going there. You need to go here. Cooper Discoverer Tires, built to take you just about anywhere. Cooper Tires, don't give up a thing. I do enjoy drinking Guinness at a tailgating party. Yes, and I've discovered that the local custom is to wear cheese on your head. So, to fit in, I brought along some hunks of Limburger. Limburger cheese heads? Brilliant! <laughs> Brilliant! I'm not so sure we're fitting in. I smell feet. Whatever the occasion, drink responsibly. Brilliant! Yo, Buckwow here. Now is the season. Now is why Cablevision built Optimum, the most astonishing digital network in the nation. Amazing IO Interactive Optimum. Optimum Online Super High Speed Internet. Optimum Voice Flat Rate Unlimited Calling. Now is what you'll always remember. Welcome to now. Welcome to Optimum. Carp Auto. Fuel. Saw. And Volvo. For three generations, the Carp family has made every Carp customer feel like part of the family. Carp is your auto authority. Get your best deal on every new Saab. Every Buick. And every Volvo. New or pre-owned. Carp Auto. There's no reason to go anywhere else. Because we're your auto authority. Carp. Sunrise Highway, Rockville Center. Almost a seven-minute drought in field goals for Wisconsin. The Badgers are behind by five as the Panthers have the lead. Let's take a look at our Hyundai Cool Facts. This, the two leagues are pretty good so far. <laughs> yeah, I think you can say that just about every year, and this is just another way to illustrate how strong both of these conferences are. You throw in Wisconsin at 10-1, and one, almost a perfect record. Well, a game that they lost at Wake Forest, they very easily could have won that game. They certainly could have. On the road at Wake Forest, too. What, what a game that was. That's the only ranked team that the Badgers have played this year. The Panthers are playing their first ranked team. They will open the, both these teams open the conference play next week. The Iowa Hawkeyes will be the test for Wisconsin. And for Pittsburgh, right here in this building, it'll be Notre Dame. Tucker has spent a lot of time at the line. That's because the Panthers have already made 10 fouls. And that's five straight converted. You talked about he can go on a roll, and so far tonight he is. Five of his seven points have come from the free throw line, and he bends in another. One of the trademarks of this Wisconsin team, and it's something they've done year in and year out, is they make more free throws than their opponents even attempt, and it still is holding true this year where they have continued to do that. This is Young, the freshman. Mr. Krauser fights his way down the lane and has it rejected. That'll be goaltending, and Krauser will have his seventh point. Well, there you see Steamsman inside. That's what he does. He get up and gets up and blocks those shots. But Crowder took it right at him and got the fortunate call there. The goaltending. I think it was a good call. It was right at its peak. It's sort of a judgment call, but I think uh, I think it was the right one. The Grote back to the bench for the Panthers. Checking back in is Keith Benjamin for Pittsburgh. Panthers lead by five. They've been up by as many as nine. There's a dump down and a foul call. Three second violation. Now that's something you don't see very often and early on the other violation we've seen a lot of that we expected to because of the point of emphasis is palming the ball. Yep. That's very very true. I mean three seconds you rarely see it but what what they got Tucker on was trying to get that pass the lot pass and trade position just wasn't able to do it quick enough. 720 to play we're in the first half 23 18. The way these teams play defense, I don't think we're going to expect the game to be played in the 80s tonight. Krauser pulls up for a jumper and buries it. Tough shot for the redshirt senior, but he hits it. Nine points for Krauser. This is Tucker. Panthers now in a zone. But actually, they're just switching off out in front. And that's what they worked on in practice today. There's so many different matchups Wisconsin will throw at you when you get your seven-footer out there handling the ball. It's very difficult with all the screens and a good job by Pittsburgh right now communicating and staying active. And Tucker runs into a crowd and finally shoots and scores. 
He thought he was fouled. He's in double figures, though, with 10. His mask almost came off there. I think he took a shot right to the face, readjusted the mask, and went up for the shot. That's why he's got the mask on, right? No, yeah, that's when you know you're a scorer. The mask comes off, you still find a hoop. What a play. Kowser has it knocked away, but it's picked up by Keith Benjamin. Got clock at 12 as that one rims out into the hands of Tucker. Back comes Wisconsin. Badgers best start ever under their head coach, Bo Ryan. Lost inside, but saying with it and banking at home is Steensma. So Greg gets his second field goal and cuts the lead to three. And, and Pitt's going to take a timeout. I think a real good timeout right here by Jamie Dixon as Wisconsin was able to get two garbage buckets, but nonetheless, they strung back-to-back -back possessions together, and he wants to set his offense right now. I think Frouser playing with so much confidence is the guy to go to. In the Big East, you've talked about the undefeated teams already being UConn and Pittsburgh and Villanova, but Louisville's only lost one. Cincinnati has lost twice. Syracuse has lost twice. Notre Dame has lost twice. Georgetown has lost twice. So all those teams off good non-conference starts, but the difference is going to start this next week. It, it really will. We see the Big East and the new teams that are added to the Big East are going to add a, a new twist to it as well. There are the Big Ten standings with Illinois and Ohio State, both undefeated, although the Buckeyes really survived a scare today to LSU, a team that earlier this year beat West Virginia in overtime at West Virginia. They were down 15 with five and a half to play and pulled it out. So well, that tells you something about LSU. Obviously, a very good team. Very young team, mm -hmm. much like Wisconsin. Yep. But obviously, they're very talented as well. Well, the Panthers will have it with 5.54 to play first half, leading now by three. Badgers have chewed into that nine-point lead. Wisconsin has put flowers on Krauser, trying to negate that driving ability with their best defender. Young for three. Short. Got his own rebound and gets it back. A new clock. Way to stay active by Young there. Nice job. This is Ramon. It is an attempt at a shot. Kimball has a three-pointer. Ramon off the screen. He's got some room down the middle and then feeds it underneath the Young. And he finishes. First basket for the freshman Young. Well, just a great job of driving inside, making that defense react, and then finding the open man. There wasn't much room there, Mike, but there was enough. Just enough. Points in the paint dominated so far by Pitt. 12-6. No place for Flowers to go. This is Butch, who got down low that time, just the second field goal for Brian Butch. Still 440 to play. And the Badgers in the double bonus, only three fouls committed by Wisconsin. Four and a half to go. Krauser for three. Good. does. He saw right there what happened was Michael Flowers, who's guarding him, went for the steal. He gambled and he lost. Krause's going to hurt you every time you do that. Six-point advantage for the Panthers. Outside is Nixon. Guarded by the other senior on the court right now. Beautiful drive by Taylor. Cameron Taylor with his second field goal. The Panthers now. Krause races back. Kimball has the offensive rebound. Young down the lane. Kimball fights for it. And a foul call. Foul is going to go on Steensma. And Greg will pick up his second foul. 3.50 to play. Right now it's the University of Pittsburgh leading by four. Act now to save big at Hyundai's All-Star Sales Event. The all-new Hyundai Sonata is a Consumer's Digest Best Buy and just received five stars, the government's highest crash safety rating. Hurry to save on the Sonata and more, up to 4,000 cash back on select models, with Hyundai's award-winning quality backed by America's best warranty. Don't miss this once-a-year opportunity only through January 3rd at Hyundai. During Hyundai's all-star sales event, get up to 4,000 cash back through January 3rd. If you're looking for answers from an auto parts store, get ready. Advance Auto Parts is working harder to help you save money by doing it yourself. 
Get ready for certified experts who are ready to help. Get ready for answers on any project you can easily understand. Get ready for in-depth information from Advanced TV, our exclusive in-store how-to network. Get ready to go from no way to know-how. For all the advice you'll ever need, the first place to go is Advance Auto Parts. We're ready in advance. I love using this now. Sending pictures is so much easier. Now, this really rocks. What a difference Verizon Online DSL makes. Now, for as low as $14.95 a month, you'll get all that speed. So you can really enjoy your computer, camera, and tons of other stuff. I click, and I'm online right away. DSL is so fast. I can open and send photos with none of the hassles I had with Dylo. I'm talking, she's surfing, and shopping. And sh shopping. I can get with a program to get music like the rest of the world. It costs a lot less than most of those cable companies. I'm paying $14.95 a month for my Verizon DSL. That's less than what my slow dial-up costs. Call 1-888-352-8275 to get Verizon Online DSL for as low as $14.95 a month. It's our lowest price ever. That's 1-888-352-8275 for the best value in broadband. I can't believe I had dial-up for so long on this baby. Goodbye, dial-up. It is 30 to 26, and so far in this first half, pretty good show, both outside and inside, by Carl Krauser, the senior for Pitt. Well, he's got 12 points already, and he's hurting Wisconsin in a number of ways. He started out, started out early with these drives to the basket, doing a good job of getting it up, and then he added into that mix, coming off some screens, hitting that jump shot, and on the last possession, Michael Flowers for Wisconsin got a little greedy, went for the steal, and Krauser made him pay with that beautiful jump shot, and nothing but net. That's one of the reasons the Panthers are on top of Wisconsin in this Big Ten Big East matchup. And as you said, this is a perfect tune-up for what's ahead for both these teams. Krauser with 12 points so far. Tucker and double figures for the Badgers. We've still got 348 to go here in the half. The clock is moving. The Panthers have the basketball. Kendall is outside. Here's Fields. To Krauser. And Thrown away. Kendall tried to save it, did not. Of course, a physical play down low. Just a lot of banging. I'm getting, I'm getting uh, bruised over here just watching this. I'm getting sore. Cameron Taylor, the junior from Minneapolis. Butch pulls up, comes up short off the glass and into the hands of Kendall. The grow to miss from outside and the rebound to Bush. Both teams, both teams trying to push the ball when they can. You see both point guards trying to get it up the court, but good defense, uh, transition defense on both sides are preventing a lot of fast break points. The has taken nine shots in the first half. The rest of the team has taken 13. Tucker from outside, short, rebound to Krauser, and he will push it. They've got numbers, races down the lane, tries to fight it up. And we'll go to the foul line. Foul number one on Ray Nixon, the senior from Milwaukee. Well, there's an example of what I was talking about. His crowds are really trying to penetrate and impress the pace of this game. And you see him just put Wisconsin to the test. And right there was Nixon who was back. But there wasn't anybody else who really gave help. And Krauser was able to get all the way to the hoop. Krauser, 67% free throw shooter. And Panthers better this year from the line. That has been an Achilles heel for them over the years. But as a team, as he gets the roll there, they're shooting over 70% from the line. And good basketball team should shoot 70%, don't you think? Well, that's right. They should get to the line and then convert when they get to the free throw line. I think 70% is a very good benchmark to go by. You get at it or above it, you do a good job. One out of two is all he can convert. The Badgers a little under 70%. They're at 66.7 coming into the game tonight. Trailing by five. Taylor keeps his dribble. Now finds Tucker. Keeps coming down in the lane and draws a foul. And that'll be number three on LeVon Kendall. Well, it's no coincidence that the leading scorers for both teams, Tucker and Krauser, are able to really throw the defense and get inside. The last two possessions were very good examples of that, a way they just get inside and make you make plays, and oftentimes they'll get to the free throw line. Well, this is his seventh free throw attempt in the first half, and he's made all of them so far. He now has 11. Krauser has 13. Gray is back in. And Young started to come off the court. But no, they want Kendall out because he's the one with three fouls. Yep. 
you know, we see some of those ticky tack early fouls really coming back to haunt Pittsburgh as Wisconsin's getting to the line and now Pittsburgh's getting in foul trouble. And that's the first miss. Scramble for the loose ball and trying to keep it alive with Jason Chappell, but he could not. So the Panthers will get it back. He tried to sneak in there and get the rebound, couldn't quite do it. Two and a half to go. We're in the opening half. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Panthers on top of the Badgers by four. That's going to be a double foul. Yep. And that'll be number three on Aaron Gray. It'll be number two on Jason Chapel, but I tell you, those big bodies were going at it underneath. Yeah, that's not an equal double foul. I mean, you take a look at some of these guys, the way they're going at it down low. You can't call a foul on either one. If anything, Gray was going after Chapel, but still, you got big bodies going after You got to clean it up somehow. I think a double foul is a good call whenever you see stuff like that down low. Now, that was the call, a double foul, one each way. Panthers will still have it under their own basket in the closing 217 of the opening half. Jim Burr, I'll tell you, when he's refereeing, he, he takes no nonsense. He lets you know sure. who's in charge. So much bigger consequences for Pittsburgh to have Gray pick up his third than for Chapel to pick up his second for Wisconsin. Here's Young along the baseline. Hands it back to Fields. Freshman from Brooklyn. Oh, one step move to the basket by the freshman Sam Young. Oh, everything should be that easy. <laughs> That's pretty Sam. athletic, isn't it? How about that? Wow. Six point ball game. Tucker, double teamed outside. They're just trying not to give him any room, but they fouled him a lot here in the opening half. This is Taylor. He'll take a timeout. I think so far in the first half, the Pittsburgh defense has been equal to the challenge of this Wisconsin offense. Oh, they really have done a great job. I mean, that is poetry and motion right there, though, by Young going to the basket. But Pittsburgh, they've, they've done a great job. It's been all team defense. There has been one guy that stood out, but together as a group, they're doing a great job of keeping Wisconsin out. Well, the Badgers went into the bonus with 10 14 to go in the half. They went into the double bonus with 754 to go in the half. Kendall picked up number three with 232 to play, and Gray followed at 217 with his third. So it's been a miserable first half from the foul standpoint. Well, it really has. And I think if you're Jamie Dixon, you got to figure out now when you're going to be able to put Kendall and Gray back in the game. Do they start out early? And what do they what do you do if they pick up a foul? It'll be interesting to see how they handle it. I'm sure we will not see them in the final minute and 42 of this half. That's for sure. But uh not a light game, very physical game. It's not going to be easy to get in there and not mix it up. Joe Kravinoff in the lineup for the first time for the Badgers. Another one with good size. There's the jumper by Tucker. He comes up short, gets it back, shoots again. Air ball that time. And they are really tangled up underneath the basket, but the foul is going to go against the Badgers. The foul is on Marcus Landry, the freshman from Milwaukee, picks up his first team. He's tangled up with Krauser, so that'll help Pittsburgh. No time off the clock as he goes to the line. It certainly will. I tell you what, I thought Krauser was going to get two points for the takedown there. <laughs> And uh, uh, you talked about the physical play. Oh, it's man. unbelievable. Isn't it something else? I mean, I remember playing in games like this, but this is about as physical a game as I've seen in a long time. First time these two teams have played since the NCAA tournament a couple of years ago. That was in Milwaukee. And Krauser's missed his last two, and unfortunately for him, that's the front end of the one and one. is going to go against Pitt and it'll be number two on big. You talk about banging bodies. That's well, unbelievable. You know, it is really it is a football game out there right now down low. And Burr is trying to clean up as best he can but these big bodies and big bodies down low and nobody wants to give an inch. That is the 13th foul in the first half on Pitt. The Badgers have been charged with seven as Another freshman, Kravinoff, misses his first at the line. Back in is Flowers. Heading to the bench is Ray Nixon. He makes one out of two. So he gets his name in the score sheet. 
Five point lead for Pitt. Panthers have the ball against this Wisconsin defense. And there's a steal. steal. And that's what they specialize in, although Crosby got that one back. I'll tell you what, Cameron Taylor stole the ball from the guy passing. Good feed. Can't finish. Out of bounds. Touch last by Wisconsin. A reminder coming up in less than a minute. It'll be the Nissan halftime report. And we'll talk about some of the big games coming up in conference play. We'll have highlights and stats. Check some out of town scores on this last day of the year. Young along the baseline, nestles it in. Sam Young. Sam Young is trying to take charge a little bit. Yeah, nice shot. Very quick release. Got up over the top. Two points. Out to Taylor. Krabinoff looked inside. Goes inside to Landry. Clock. And saved by Biggs. Here's Krauser, gives it up to Young. Short with his jumper, trying to get it back. Instead, it's Kravinoff will have it in the final 15 seconds of the opening half. Well, Krauser should have pulled that out. They had the ball with no time on the, on the shot clock. Should have pulled it out for one shot. Instead, Wisconsin is going to get a look here before the end of the half. In the hands right now of Taylor. Spins, pulls up, shoots, comes up short, and that'll do it. 25-28 is our halftime score. It's been a very physical first half. The guys who've been leading their teams in scoring have done it again so far tonight. We're talking about Orlando Tucker. He's the leading scorer for the Badgers. At 11 in the first half, but the answers come from Carl Krauser with 13. Nissan halftime report is straight ahead. out Anderson down low boom dunks what a pass McGee brings a double team and steals it from Thomas the Dean a three good out to Krauser three pointers good it's showtime at the peak right of the lane back to McNamara three on the way right side book it Manny Foy down the lane pulls up off the glass and good from eight feet right of the lane yeah, they can't stop it here's JD driving kicking it right corner hair bear for a three yeah. yes service anticipates your needs. Business class is different on British Airways. Classifieds was the best place to find a car. Morning, Mr. Shoe! Optimum Autos changed all that. No more tiny, hard-to-read ads like the newspaper. Morning, Mrs. Green! Just thousands of cars right on your TV. Don't pick up the paper. Pick up the remote. Optimum Autos, I.O. Channel 605. Win a 2006 Jeep Commander 4x4 and $3,000 in gas. Visit Optimum Autos today to enter. Would you like to cut your phone, data, and internet costs in half and increase your bandwidth? Well, Optimum Light Path is making it as easy as flicking a switch. Switch to Optimum Light Path Metro Ethernet now, and you could save more than $30,000. On top of that, your ongoing business communications costs could very well be cut in half. Switch now and save thousands with Metro Ethernet from Optimum Light Path. Offer extended until January 31st, 2006. Go to MetroEthernetNow.com. I love using this now. Sending pictures is so much. The first 20 minutes of basketball between the University of Wisconsin and the University of Pittsburgh, a matchup of the Big Ten and the Big East. And for both these conferences, Mike, uh, the fun and games are just about over. They start for real this week. Uh, you said it. The cupcakes are passed. And you take a look at some of these matchups. I mean, Marquette's got their introduction to the Big East against the number two team in the country. 
Notre Dame, Pittsburgh is going to be a great one. Villanova, Louisville, you've got two top ten teams. I mean, there's just, you, there's so many to choose from. Lots of great games to start out the Big East schedule. And, of course, the same is true when you look at the Big Ten Conference, and that includes, of course, these Badgers who will go home and have to play Iowa right off the bat. That's right. Wisconsin's got Iowa, then Michigan State after that, which isn't, isn't shown here, but a tough start to the Big Ten schedule. That big game right there, I think, is Michigan State at number six, Illinois, is going to be quite a barn burner. Well, that is the schedule that's coming up for both of these leagues. Conference play is about to begin in the Big East and in the Big Ten. We've got more to come. Stay with us. Nissan Halftime Report continues after this. You don't win a marathon in the first 100 meters. Success comes from weathering the challenges and going the distance, regardless of the conditions. We believe long-term investing is a basic principle that can help you realize your financial objectives. Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. Carefully consider fund investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses. Call your advisor for a prospectus with this and other fund information. Read it carefully before investing. I love this place. This is home. After graduation, I moved back here. Connecting with people in the community was very important. My degree from University of Wisconsin-Madison enabled me to be a pharmacist and participate in community affairs. Every person who comes out of that university is going to affect hundreds of other lives in the community and in the world. I love using this now. Sending pictures is so much easier. Now, this really rocks. What a difference Verizon Online DSL makes. Now, for as low as $14.95 a month, you'll get all that speed, so you can really enjoy your computer, camera, and tons of other stuff. I click, and I'm online right away. DSL is so fast. I can open and send photos with none of the hassles I had with Dilo. I'm talking, she's surfing. And shopping. And sh shopping. I can get with a program and get music like the rest of the world. It costs a lot less than most of those cable companies. I'm paying $14.95 a month for my Verizon DSL. That's less than what my slow dial-up costs. Call 1-888-352-8275 to get Verizon Online DSL for as low as $14.95 a month. It's our lowest price ever. That's 1-888-352-8275 for the best value in broadband. I can't believe I had dial-up for so long on this baby. Bye-bye, dial-up. Push me, and then just touch me, till I can get my satisfaction. Once again, to our Nissan halftime report, we are at intermission. It's a seven-point lead for the Panthers of Pittsburgh over the Badgers of Wisconsin, 35-28. Let's take a look at our Big East Coaches Spotlight, brought to you by Oppenheimer Funds. Let's take a closer look at a guy who's had great success in three seasons here at Pitt, Jamie Dixon. Well, you see what he's been able to do. Very successful in all four years. Just doing a heck of a job with this Pittsburgh team. And a couple of years ago, he was the coach of the year. That was in his rookie season as a head coach. Oppenheimer Funds is the presenting sponsor of the Big East Coach of the Year Award. Now, a busy day in college basketball on this last day of 2005. Duke rolled to another victory. Redick had 35 points for the Blue Devils. Easy win for Villanova in the Big Five over Temple. They were the pick to win the Big East Conference this year. Big win in double overtime for Arizona against number seven, Washington. That snaps that 32-game winning streak. Michigan State rolls over Coppin State. And it was Louisville in the Orange Bowl Classic defeating Miami, former member of the Big East Conference, 58-43. to California knocks off Ben Howland's team, UCLA, 68-61. BC over Rhode Island, 78-56. Marshall had 21 points, a season high for him. Five Terrapins in double figures as they almost hit the century mark in beating VMI. It was Oklahoma, a loser earlier this month to West Virginia, bouncing back to beat Alabama. Bookout had 18. Indiana has the first half lead by 15 over Ball State. 
Ohio State a squeaker. I'll tell you what, Sylvester had to hit a three-pointer with 12 seconds left to pull out a two-point victory in that ballgame. They were down by 15 with just 5.35 to play. Gonzaga, number eight, a win over St. Joe's. Four is 7.33. That game is in the first half. We are at halftime in Pittsburgh. Stay with us. The Nissan Halftime Report will continue right after this. Ultima, Armada, Frontier, Maxima, Murano, Pathfinder, Quest, Sentra, Titan, Xterra, Z. Nissan's A to Z year-end event. Your chance to get year-end deals on America's most exciting full line. Like a $289 per month lease on the 7-passenger Pathfinder at your Nissan dealer now. Style, performance, value from A to Z. 50 years ago, the University of Pittsburgh developed the first vaccine that conquered polio. In the 1980s, we became the world's leading center for organ transplantation. Today, our researchers continue at the forefront of medical breakthroughs, targeting cancer, Alzheimer's, and other debilitating diseases in our quest to improve human health. The University of Pittsburgh. We're building the future together. Want to hang out with an NFL quarterback or find out what it would be like to handle these NFL receivers one-on-one? -on -one? This is all you got to do. Well, now you can get as close to the action as you want when you put Ben Roethlisberger, Chad Johnson, and Torrey Holt into your room with Fathead. Hey, did you call me a Fathead? Fathead is big and bold, just like you. Right here. Mm. Fathead can take a hit, too. Printed on strong, durable vinyl, you can move Fathead over and over without damaging walls. How many walls you got? Two, three, four, five? Put one on every wall. Too big and real to be available in stores, Fathead wall graphics are classic collectibles made for true fans only. It's so real, you're going to think I moved into your room. Officially licensed by the National Football League and Players, Inc. Visit Fathead.com for your officially licensed NFL Fathead teams and players. Like Brett Favre, Michael Vick, Brian Urlacher, and many more. Visit Fathead.com and let Fathead take over your room. Maybe it's time for action. Fathead. The Jewelry Factory. Factory Direct. Direct diamond importers, low margins. Three stone pendants are 89. Three stone tennis bracelets are 169. One carat three stone rings, 599. Buy Factory Direct and save. The Jewelry Factory in Hackensack. In this crazy world, it's nice to know there's someone you can always count on. I dreamed a Remax agent just saved my life. Again. Nobody sells more real estate than Remax. We continue from Pittsburgh with our Nissan halftime report. It's the Panthers leading 35 to 28 here at the Peterson Event Center. Welcome back, everyone. We're going to check out some highlights. Along with Mike Kelly, I'm John Sanders. And as you look at the highlights, keep one thing in mind. Nothing that you're going to see is uncontested. No, that's for sure. I mean, what a physical first half for both teams. They came out strong. Unfortunately, Pittsburgh got into some foul trouble, but they were both able to really work the ball around, and we saw Tucker and Krauser for both teams doing what they do best, put the ball in the hoop. Let's take a look at Tucker, first of all, as we kick off those highlights, and he draws a crowd every time he touches the ball. Well, he really does. He works so well down low and getting position before the ball gets to him, and that's where a lot of his success comes from. And then you see right there, that's just grit and determination on his part to get the ball in the lane and get it up for a hoop. And for Pittsburgh, it was Krauser. He really started everything off for them. You see the mid-range jump shot that he has here. He was able to knock down a three as well. And Wisconsin got a little greedy going for the steal. And after that, we saw a little bit of everybody kind of coming to the mix. Sam Young did a really good job of getting up to the hoop. And you see a tough one there. And then sometimes he makes it look real easy, as he did on this guy. Wide and layup right there. How can you get that far in just two steps? <laughs> I tell you what, shooting? Well, the Panthers have had the better of it in that category. Three-point field goals, those two for Wisconsin came very early in the game, first couple baskets. They really did. Nine three-pointers for both teams, probably high, but a result of that good defense. Well, we've seen 19 players in this game. We've already seen 20 fouls. What are we going to see in the second half? We're about to find out. Stay with us. The Nissan Halftime Report continues after this. I'm a Mecca Okafor, college graduate, Charlotte Bobcat, and proud recipient of the Aeropost Style Big E Scholar Athlete of the Year. Graduating with a 3.76 GPA and a degree in finance in three years, I balance books and basketball. 
Aeropostale gives out more than $300,000 in scholarships to both students and student athletes. It wasn't and still isn't all about the rebounds. Swings it out, Anderson, down low, boom, dunks, what a pass! McGee brings a double team and steals it for Thomas. The Dean, a three, good! Out to Krauser, three-pointer is good! It's showtime at the peak! Right of the lane, back to McNamara, three on the way, right side, book it! Manny Foy, down the lane, pulls up off the glass and good from eight feet right of the lane! Yeah, they can't stop it. Here's J.D. driving, kicking it, right corner, Herbert for a three, yes! yes! You know, over the years, I've seen a lot of my regulars go through hair loss, and they try every new hair product under the sun. Last six years, I've seen a lot of guys grow their hair back, too. When I ask, always seems to be Avacor. My brother, my father, my grandfather all had lost their hair at a fairly young age. And I'm a young guy, I'm in my mid-20s. How could I be losing this amount of hair? Avacor's formula is FDA approved to reverse hair loss and regrow new healthy hair in as little as two months. I tried all the other products and nothing really worked. Avacor got my hair back. My customers ask me for advice, it's a no-brainer. Avacor. With Avacor, you also get boost for visibly thicker hair on the first application. Call now and find out how you can get three months of Avacor free with your order. Call 1-800-733-2150. That's 1-800-733-2150. 1-800-733-2150. Pitt has the lead and they will have the ball when we start the second half. We're about to do that here at the Peterson Event Center. They lovingly call it the Pete. Check out the leading scores in the first half and Tucker leading away with 11. And that should be Taylor with five. We don't have two Tuckers there. We have a Tucker and a Taylor. And there's the story. Krauser offensively. But you look at Gray and Kendall combined rebounds just three, but combined fouls six. That's the problem. Ramo doing a nice job, four assists, zero turnovers, doing a very good job of handling the ball. And he was one of the guys that was able to drive and dish. We'll see if he can do more of that in the second half. And they go with Biggs and Young to start the second half. So they've made the decision, the two with the three fouls, Kendall and Gray, are not in there to start the second half. That's Biggs outside. This is Krauser. And if the big guys are in foul trouble, he goes to Biggs inside left hand and good. The one thing that's going to have to continue, somebody else is going to have to do the scoring. That's right. And Krauser's still out there, so that's good for Pittsburgh because he can score on his own. He doesn't need that offense to work with him. But if they can get some other guys involved like they did right there, that'll be big. Badgers' first possession of the second half. It's Butch outside. In your face defense by Pittsburgh. Well, it has been. If you saw in those highlights, there are no easy looks anywhere. Taylor, shot clock at five, throws it away. Young has it, gets it to Ramon. The Grote trails on the right side. He got it back in the foul call. He was bumped. He was not going to shoot. He was going to make a pass in that situation, but he was fouled on his way under the basket. The foul will go on Tucker. That'll be Orlando Tucker's first foul. And quickly, Taylor to the bench. Back in is Michael Flowers, the defensive specialist. Panthers handle under their own basket. They've matched their biggest lead of the night. Midway through the first half, they were up by nine. Five minutes into the game, Wisconsin had its biggest lead of five. Right now, it's 37-29. Pitt has the lead. Young outside. So a pair of freshmen starting the second half. Krauser. Gets the rebound and a reaction now underneath from Krauser as he is fouled by Chapel. Well, Krauser drove and I let's see that Chapel got a little bit, but I think Krauser maybe a little sensitive. I don't know. It's been it's been such a physical game that you wonder when you're you burned up too much of your uh, wick there and got a short fuse. Well, I, 
you got to expect to be hit in this game. And Krauser again hits the deck as Young banks it home. Great ice two for you there. Technical foul. It's going to be a Krauser, I think. It is going to be on Carl Krauser. And it's his first foul of the night. And he is hit with a technical. That was called by Tim Higgins. Krause has got to be careful he doesn't pick up another That's one. That's right. Jim Burke gets in and says, hey, back off. It's been that kind of a game. We're only a minute and 20 seconds into the second half. <laughs> think about that. Well, I think a little bit of an active job. I mean, there was some contact, but as physical as this game has been, you can't go down with something like that. Krauser wanted to get that call. I'm not sure what he said, but well, Chapel is going to set down as Steamsma checks back in. He played pretty good minutes in the first half, and also in there is Kravinov. So they have plenty of size on the court right now for the Badgers. Well, they really do. They're going really big. Take a look at the coaching staff talking to Krauser. Now that's Joe Lombardi trying to cool off Krauser along with Jamie Dixon. Well, they've already got two guys on the bench, two of their key players, and now a third with Krauser. Very important that they can get Krauser back in this game quickly. This is Tucker outside. Tucker passes on the three. Gets it back to Kravinov. Inside. Butch misses the short shot. Tip to the corner and track down there. Timeout is called in time. By Antonio Graves. He got the ball, got the timeout. They've got a double digit lead. It's 39 29. 18 15 to play. We are in the second half here in Pittsburgh, PA. Cooper Tire is proud to be the official tire of the Big East Conference. Cooper Tires, don't give up a thing. One car was ranked most appealing entry midsize by J.D. Power and Associates and earned Strategic Vision's Total Quality Award. And it wasn't Toyota or Honda. It was the Pontiac G6 sedan, designed to be one of the best cars in the world. And now, we've created another. The new 240 horsepower G6 Coupe. Now during Pontiac's Red Tag event, G6 starts at $15,932. The price on the tag is the price you pay. Not a penny more. Big Cheese, our new Cheddar Double Cheddar, just two for three bucks. Double Burger, Double Cheddar, Double Good. Cheddar Double Cheddar, now two for three bucks. So go to Checkers, cause you gotta eat. Oh, you gotta eat! Carp Auto, Fuel, Saw, and Volvo. For three generations, the Carp family has made every Carp customer feel like part of the family. Carp is your auto authority. Get your best deal on every new Saab, every Buick, and every Volvo. New or pre-owned. Carp Auto. There's no reason to go anywhere else. Because we're your auto authority. Carp. Sunrise Highway, Rockville Center. It's a 10-point lead for Pitt. If you thought the first half was physical, what about the first minute and 45 of the second half? Yeah, maybe it's time some of these players put the mask on like Tucker, just in case, even though they don't have a broken nose, they might get one. You see that Krauser going in. And I think Krauser was just upset after that play, and then it led to trying to get another foul call in some words with the ref that were enough to get the uh, technical. Well, he is still on the bench, as are Kendall. And Aaron Gray. But right now, just two of the starters out there for Pitt. Three are on the bench. Handling is Graves. He gives it up to Briggs. Briggs will hand it back. Now Ramon. Here's Dick Grote. The dump down to Young, the freshman. Start to move underneath and scores. Yeah, he did. But what a nice move inside. Very slick. And you see Young really picking it up with Gray on the bench. 
Young with 10 now. He's in double figures. Well, the Panthers have opened up their biggest lead a dozen. This is Tucker outside. Kravinoff off the glass and good. So Joe Kravinoff, the freshman from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, gets his first field goal. Makes it a 10-point game again. Kravinoff is really a nice-looking player for this Wisconsin team. You see his ability to be agile and cut to the basket. Go up with that shot. Very good move. I'll tell you what, between these two teams, youth is really being served. It really. certainly is. A lot of young players on the court. Panthers have two seniors. The Badgers have one. That's Biggs from the side. Got it. Terrell Biggs, second field goal in the second half, and back to a 12-point difference. Now with some of the leadership in foul trouble, this is a chance for these youngsters to get some playing time. Tucker spins, shoots, scores. What a move. That's his first basket in the second half. He has 13 points in the contest. Wisconsin's got this big lineup on the court with their two 6 11 players, Tucker and Kravinoff. And they're going to have to make hay down low. Now, Ramon has been very quiet. I can't recall him taking a shot. Here's Young. Works the baseline, stepped out of bounds. It'll be Badger basketball with 16 24 to play. And now. Kendall will check into the lineup for the first time in the second half, along with Keith Benjamin. And one of the advantages for both teams, Mike, is they do have about 10 guys that will play. It really is a nice thing when you have a deep bench and you can avoid some, or you can have foul trouble and absorb it. But how do you send Kendall back out there? Very difficult to send him out there and say, don't get a foul. Well, just about every time down, you're, you're manning up against somebody. We'll see if Kendall's able to do it. Kravinoff gets it over to Flowers. Good inside spin move off the glass. No good. But the rebound. Back to the Badgers. Good deep offensive rebound by Steamsma. Gets his third field goal of the night. Well, we saw the recognition by Wisconsin going at Kendall. Gave the ball to Landry down low. He wasn't able to convert, but still turned into two points after the offensive rebound. Ramon looked inside to Kendall. Didn't go that way as he's being banged in by Landry. Gives it up to Biggs. Missed. Yeah, he got it. <laughs> it looked like he tried to stuff it and was going to come up empty, but Terrell Biggs has six second-half points. He is three for three. That's Landry. Tucker was pushed before the shot. He was gotten from behind by Keith Benjamin. It's the first foul on Benjamin. We've got a timeout. A Ten-point lead for Jamie Dixon and the Panthers here in Pittsburgh. No one wins this race alone. Only a skilled finely tuned team can stay on course no matter what the conditions we put the right people on your side to help you meet your financial objectives Oppenheimer funds the right way to invest carefully consider fund investment objectives risks charges and expenses call your advisor for a prospectus with this and other fund information read it carefully before investing act now to save big at Hyundai's all-star sales event the all-new Hyundai Sonata is a Consumer's Digest Best Buy and just received five stars, the government's highest crash safety rating. Hurry to save on the Sonata and more, up to 4,000 cash back on select models, with Hyundai's award-winning quality backed by America's best warranty. Don't miss this once-a-year opportunity only through January 3rd at Hyundai. During Hyundai's all-star sales event, get up to 4,000 cash back through January 3rd. I love using this now. Sending pictures is so much easier. Now, this really rocks. What a difference Verizon Online DSL makes. Now, for as low as $14.95 a month, you'll get all that speed, so you can really enjoy your computer, camera, and tons of other stuff. I click, and I'm online right away. DSL is so fast. I can open and send photos with none of the hassles I had with Dylo. I'm talking, she's surfing, and shopping. And sh shopping. I can get with a program and get music like the rest of the world. It costs a lot less than most of those cable companies. I'm paying $14.95 a month for my Verizon DSL. That's less than what my slow dial-up costs. Call 1-888-352-8275 to get Verizon Online DSL for as low as $14.95 a month. It's our lowest price ever. That's 1-888-352-8275 for the best value in broadband. I can't believe I had dial-up for so long on this baby. Bye-bye, dial-up.
is a 10-point lead for the University of Pittsburgh and with two of their starters on the bench to begin the second half, well, it's the freshman who's been stepping up. Well, that's been the story of the second half for Pittsburgh is who is going to step up and get some points, and Tyrell Biggs has done a really nice job of being opportunistic, getting the inside shots, able to stroke it from the outside as well. And then here, we'll call it a one shot. Could have been one for two, I suppose, but just doing a nice job of stepping up. And they got a nice bounce there, and of course, during the course of this season so far, it has been the Wisconsin bench that has done the job. But tonight, that is being dominated by Pittsburgh. Well, you just can't go inside easily. Tucker does, puts it up, an air ball. Scramble for the loose ball, and the Badgers get it back. Tucker has it. Krabenhoff lost it going in, stays with it, missed the shot. Gray, who's back in the lineup, battling for the rebound. And a foul call. Well, you said it, John. You just can't go inside at all without getting some contact or getting some resistance. Nice job of Grabe not getting his fourth foul. Instead, the foul went the other way. It went on Kravinoff. Here's Kendall. He is in there. So is Carl Krauser. Gray, as you saw, is also back on the court. Kendall down low. Covered by Tucker. Powers his way in. Blocked. Got it back, hits the deck, and it's picked up by Landry. Here come the Badgers. Trailing by 10. Good shot from the baseline corner that time by Kravinov, who has already tonight matched his career high. He's got five points. Well, he really did a nice job of finding the open court. Oh, this is going to be on Greg. What a yeah, silly yes foul. Yes, it is. And that is four on Greg. Called by Jim Burr, the referee tonight, and Greg He's going to find himself back on the bench in a heartbeat as Biggs, who sat down for about 30 seconds, is back out there. I'll tell you what, if you're going to pick up your fourth, that's not how you want to do it. Not at the offensive end of the court. Jeez, that's, uh, that's really a bad break for Pittsburgh. Crowds are all over Kravinoff as Tucker takes it. Guarded by Benjamin, tries to go baseline, has it knocked away into the hands of Biggs. Here comes Krauser. He'll keep it and tried to go back. A lot of contact, no foul called there. Here's Tucker. Three on two, Tucker. Has it blocked, picked up by Kendall. He almost throws it away. Finally, Fields has it. He'll take it in, go to the left hand, and hit the deck. <laughs> wow, man. This is no place for the faint of heart. Uh, somebody issues some knee pads and elbow pads to these guys. That foul is on uh, speech, but it's his third foul. Insurance premiums are going up as these guys are just banging all over. Nice job by Fields going all the way to the basket, pressing Fields. the issue. Fields had a three-pointer in the first half, and he's a good foul shooter. That's 11 out of 12 for him at the free throw line so far this season. Back into the lineup again comes Sam Young, the freshman. Kendall will set. Win or lose, if you're the Pitt Panthers, you got to like the fact that your youngsters have played well. Well, this really has been a, a nice test of the Pittsburgh team, top to bottom, especially with the foul trouble, having to get a lot of guys in there, and Biggs doing a great job. Fields picking up where Krauser left off, and Krauser had to go to the bench. And Kravinoff now goes to the bench along with Steamsma. He's back on is Brian Butch. Tucker, of course, he rarely sits down. Fields for his second chance at the line. And that's his second miss of the year. Butch with the rebound. And now the Badgers will come back. Trailing by nine. Inside, Chapel. Butch for three. Got it, buried that one. So that's Butch's seventh three-pointer on the year, his first tonight. Well, what a good look for Wisconsin. I mean, they're going with the big lineup. They want to get the ball inside, and then to have Butch, the 6'11 center out there, with the ability to shoot three is a great look for Wisconsin. This is as close as the Badgers have been in the second half. Krauser spots for three. He answers. Carl Krauser has 16. Well, he desenses the big moment, doesn't he? Yes, and he, he just does. knows when his team needs a pick-me-up. And he provides it. Chapel tried to go inside to Tucker, threw it into the hands of Krauser. Numbers are not there, but I tell you what, Fields will challenge. Loose ball, tracked down by Butch. And no hesitation in the freshman Levance Fields to go to the basket, is there? <laughs> no, I like his game. I mean, very confident player, and you have to be if you're going to have the ball in your hand. Nine point lead for Pitt. Taylor off the screen from Butch. 
Tried to go inside, and that one is stolen. Benjamin leads it to Krause. Gets it back. And then they'll have to reset. But not for long. Twelve and a half minutes to go. We are in the second half. Another sellout. About 12,500 on hand. There's Young, the freshman, to Benjamin. Taylor's on him. Time call. 30-second timeout called by the University of Pittsburgh is back into the lineup as Michael Flowers. Nice job by Jamie Dixon. I think good use of that 30-second timeout. As he saw his team needed a break, they had done a good job on the defensive end. He wants to get a good set out there. See what they come out with here in the half court set. Obviously, he wants to. He sees a matchup he'd like to go at. We'll find out what it is in just a second. Well, Wisconsin has turned it over ten times coming into this point in the ball game, and a team that has been doing a very good job. Only twelve a game coming in. They've turned it over ten times against the Panther defense tonight. And the Badgers find themselves down by nine. Kravinoff is back in there along with Chapel. Butch, they're still pretty big. Yeah, they certainly are. They've got so much size on that bench that they can lose a couple guys and bring in bigger bodies as well. And that's Kendall and Gray both on the bench. Fields puts it up. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just beating the buzzer. Six points for Fields. Panthers back to an 11 point lead. Their biggest has been 12. Butch penetrates. Block. Graves. Now Fields. Graves for three. Young fouled on the putback attempt. Well, Wisconsin's going to get a, a TV timeout right now. It could come in a better moment. Kravinoff will pick up the foul. They are on their feet at the Peterson Event Center because Pittsburgh is in front. And a freshman fields one of them leading the way for Pitt. Create your own holiday red lobster. Combine two or three of your seafood favorites from 10 signature dishes, including our tender snow crab. Turn a meal into a celebration this holiday at Red Lobster. If you're looking for answers from an auto parts store, get ready. Advance Auto Parts is working harder to help you save money by doing it yourself. Get ready for certified experts who are ready to help. Get ready for answers on any project you can easily understand. Get ready for in-depth information from Advance TV, our exclusive in-store how-to network. Get ready to go from no way to know-how. For all the advice you'll ever need, the first place to go is Advance Auto Parts. We're ready in advance. Create your own holiday feast at Red Lobster. Combine two or three of your seafood favorites from 10 signature dishes, including our tender snow crab. Turn a meal into a celebration this holiday at Red Lobster. Eight million American men have diabetes. 29 million have high blood pressure. 50 million have high cholesterol. Many men with these medical conditions have one thing in common. Their love life just isn't what it used to be. If this sounds like you, call 1-800-980-1917 or go to mensfacts.com for your free Men's Facts kit. You'll get a booklet about how diabetes, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol may lead to a medical condition that could affect your love life. Plus, you'll get tips to help you talk to your doctor and learn about a medicine that can help. If you have diabetes, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol, your love life could be affected. So get the facts. Call 1-800-980-1917 or visit mensfacts.com. You'll be glad you did. Call 1-800-980-1917 or visit mensfacts.com today. Midway point in the second half. Pittsburgh hanging on to an 11-point lead. As we come back, let's check out a game-changing performance brought to you by Pontiac. Well, I think if you're watching this game, Kyle Krause has really been the player 
that has been the impetus for this Pittsburgh team. You see he got tangled up there, got the technical, but since then he's come out firing, and this Pittsburgh team has really picked it up, the pace of the defense on offense. Crowder continues to lead them by example. He's doing a great job tonight. Sam Young, the freshman in double figures, will be at the line. Krauser's on the bench right now. DeGroat, the other senior on the team, has returned. Biggs, who got off to a great start in the second half, is out there. Right now they have three freshmen in the lineup. Young now with 11. He had a high of 16 in his last game, a win at South Carolina. And this is number two. It's out of bounds. Mm -hmm. it belong to? And it's going to be Wisconsin basketball. Second time the Panthers have had a 12 point lead. Flowers working on the freshman fields. Tucker against DeGroat. As he bumped from behind. Well, you know, I was thinking Wisconsin might try to head inside to Tucker. Obviously, he's their leading scorer, but he's the type of guy in this situation, you want to get the ball in his hands. They did a good job of it there. At the very least, they got a foul. Tucker gives it up, and that's an offensive foul. Number two on Orlando Tucker, and another turnover by the Badgers of Wisconsin. Carl Krause is going to hustle to try to get back in there. He will before they inbound the ball. He comes back, sitting down as Antonio Graves. And then the turnover story continues to favor Pitt. But each possession so hotly contested, these turnovers are killing both sides. It's even themselves out. They've had so many of them, but you can tell how it happens with the physicalness on both ends of the ball. Biggs gives it up to Fields. He starts to move down the lane, puts up a runner, and draws a foul. You go to the basket, somebody's going to hit you. That's for sure. <laughs> At that time, it was Michael Flowers picking up his first foul. Boy, that's right. Death taxes and getting hit in the lane in a Pittsburgh, Wisconsin game. But wow. Fields will have a pair at the line. He's one of two this evening, and he's one of three. So the guy had only missed one free throw the entire year. As Taylor checks back in, back to the bench goes Michael Flowers. Well, as a freshman, Fields really has a, a poise, an upperclassman type game. In fact, I think having this year to play with Carl Krauser is really going to help him. I can even see flashes of Krauser in the way Fields gets in the lane. Well, he's missed his last three at the line. So the lead remains a dozen as Taylor works the basketball. Finds Ray Nixon. He's not played that many minutes tonight. They look inside to Tucker. He's cut off by DeGroat. Now they go over the top to Tucker. And he fouled and will go to the line. That foul is going to be on John DeGroat, his second. Tucker now with 15 points and a chance to add to that. He's had a field day at the free throw line. He's 7-7. Seven seven. Well, you watch the play there, and it was a nice play by Tucker to go get the ball. But look at the inlet pass. I mean, that is a tough pass to have to work. And that's a credit to Pittsburgh's defense right now. There are no easy passes inside. And you have to depend on the athleticism of Tucker to go up and get that ball. Not easy to do. Well, he's been very good. You called it early. He has hit all eight of his free throw attempts. A guy shooting only 51% on the year, but he's been dead-eyed tonight. Back to a nine-point ball game. As he completes the old-fashioned three-point play, the growth to Ramon, down low, Biggs, working on Butch, puts up a baseline jumper, and nails it. Four for four in the second half, and he has really kept the Panthers keep their lead. Tucker's free underneath to lay it off the glass. 18 points for the redshirt junior from Illinois. Uh, and they have to keep going to that well. I mean, right now, Lando Tucker's the one guy who, when he gets the ball, is looking to score, and he's doing it. He's getting a lot more room inside than he did in the first half. Yep, he certainly is. Right now, I see him and DeGroder going after it as well. More physical play. It'll be Wisconsin ball. 10-0-2 remaining in the game. We are at the midway point of the second half, and it has been a physical dandy tonight. Good ball game going. The Panthers have the lead 54 to 45. Some more scores from top 25 college basketball. A lot of action on this last day of 2005. Final game for this year for all the teams in Ohio State. 
Oh, they had to fight back from a 15-point deficit with five and a half minutes left to win that game and stay undefeated. Gonzaga holds off St. Joe's by five. Nevada, number 21 in the first half, has the lead at St. Mary's. Here it's 54-45. Uh, 15 different players have scored points in this game tonight. 16 different players have committed fouls. <laughs> Seven second half fouls on Wisconsin. Five so far on Pittsburgh. Quick turnaround by Tucker rattles out. Kendall is back in the lineup for Pitt. Panther bench has outscored the Wisconsin bench 27 to 12 as Krauser lost it trying to go down the lane. It's picked off by Chapel. Ten turnovers now for the Panthers. Badgers have it. More contact outside. I think they might have Benjamin down low. Benjamin was the man called for the foul. <laughs> There's about three fouls on every possession. <laughs> Seems like you it. could call. That's the second on Benjamin. And right now it's Bo Ryan working a little bit on Jim Burr. Wants an explanation. And it causes Jamie Dixon to come to his feet in front of the Panther bench. Coach Ryan would like him to take a look at who they called that foul on just to be sure they got the right guy. Yeah, everybody, he thinks it might have been Krauser. I agree. I think he saw what everybody else saw was Krauser's reaction getting hit. And that's the prerogative that the officials do have. And now Jamie Dixon wants one of the officials, Tim Higgins, is going to go down and talk to him. But it was Jim Burr who made the call. He said it was underneath the basket, not out in front of you. And he should know. He's the one that called the foul. <laughs> well, I saw him make a gesture down low. I mean, because I saw what you saw, which was Trouser's right. reaction. Because that's where the ball was. But, but I, I read his lips as he said it down low, and that's why I thought it was Benjamin. And sure enough, that's what it was. Well, that's what uh, Bo Ryan was questioning. In any case, it's the 16 foul. They will be shooting everything. Tucker makes the catch underneath and gets the shot. Had to go to the left hand, but now he's got 20 points. Well, Pittsburgh's going to have to send another guy. Right now, Lando Tucker is just playing too well offensively to guard him with only one guy. It's nice to lead to seven. It's as close as they've been at halftime. It was a seven-point difference. Right now, the Badgers on an 8-2 run. Krauser cannot answer. Butch has the rebound. Gets it to Taylor. What do you think, more Tucker? <laughs> Why not? Yeah. He's over the top to Tucker. Crowd. Here comes DeGroat back for Pitts. To the bench, it's Keith Benjamin. And we have seen very little of Aaron Gray here in the second half. Well, the Panthers will get it back. Ramon will bring it up. 8.49 to play in the game. A very physical matchup of the Big Ten and the Big East. Krauser starts his move down the lane. Is fouled. That'll go on Ray Nixon. And that is his second. With Krauser, you see, I mean, he's just got such a knack for getting in the lane. And the help came just a little too late for Wisconsin. At that point, you got to follow him and send him to the line. He looked like a running back heading yeah. for the goal line, didn't he? he? Tucked the ball under his arm. Krauser, who had missed his last two, hits that one. He's got 17 tonight. Three of five at the foul line. Into the bench goes the senior Ray Nixon. And the senior Carl Krauser is at the line. All of a sudden, it's quiet. Got him both. 18 for Krauser. Tucker has 20 for the Badgers. Panthers by nine. It's been seven, eight, nine, and as many as 12 in the second half. Tucker bending, bending off. 
The rebound, the putback goes by Keppel, and that is his first basket of the game. Well, he's crashing the boards right now. Wisconsin doing a good job. All the attention's on Tucker, so everybody else is getting in the lane. The Grote is outside, finds Levon Kendall. Spins, shoots, and air ball. He was defended nicely that time by Butch, who just would not let him get lower. You wonder if Kendall not being in the game for such a long period of time, if that's had an effect on him. Young now trying to guard Tucker. Starts his move. Little jump hook bending off. Loose underneath and by there. Here comes Crowder. He's off to the races. Taylor will try to track him down and does to foul him. He had one place in mind that he was going, and that was to the basket at the other end. That was the least contested play of the game so far. <laughs> it's going to take us to a timeout with 7.41 to play. What a battle here in Pittsburgh. The Panthers right now leading the Badgers. You've put in the hard work and preparation. Now block out the pressure. Stay focused. Execute the plan. At Oppenheimer Funds, we believe that sticking to your objectives is one of the principles that can help you achieve financial success. Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. Carefully consider fund investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses. Call your advisor for a prospectus with this and other fund information. Read it carefully before investing. Ultima, Armada, Frontier, Maxima, Murano, Pathfinder, Quest, Sentra, Titan, Xterra, Z. Nissan's A to Z year-end event. Your chance to get year-end deals on America's most exciting full line. Like a $199 per month lease on Ultima with a special edition package at your Nissan dealer now. Style, performance, value from A to Z. There's something about you, baby. I got you looking at me, I'm gonna call you bluff. There's something about you, girl. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. It takes a man to be a dad. When I noticed that I was losing my hair, at first I danced around the issue, then I decided to tackle it permanently. I got the permanent solution from the guys who were as determined as I was. You too should make the call. Get your free information package and start regrowing your own hair permanently. Plus, call now and get $300 worth of additional grafts. One call, 1-888-609-7356. That's 1-888-609-7356. Treat me with understanding, without judgment. With humanity. Individuals in recovery living their lives free of alcohol and drugs deserve proper treatment. For information and treatment referral, call 1-800-662-HELP. Pit led by seven at halftime, they lead by seven right now. Let's check out our Red Lobster nothing but net shot of the game. Make it shots of the game and maybe we should change it to nothing but bruises. <laughs> yeah, really. Because it's all been contested. It has really been something to see Tucker inside for Wisconsin. He's only 6'6", and when you're not seven feet, what you got to do is get early position, create the passing lanes, and use your athleticism. You see all of that right there for Lando Tucker using his body inside, and then that athleticism once he gets the ball to go up and finish. He has had a terrific night, 20 points. His career and the season high is 38. It's going to be Krauser at the line for a couple. Carl with 18, so if he hits two, he'll join him at 20. And that's one. And two. So he's at 20. Pretty good matchup for the leading scorers here in this game. We have highlighted both players during the lineups. Knocked away by Krauser. Loose and picked up. Here comes Benjamin racing down. Missed the shot and underneath. You talk about a takedown. The foul is on Carl Krauser. Well, you see there, just good hands. By Pitch getting in there and then Krauser, another two-point take down. Is the wrestling team full? <laughs> if it isn't, they might want to sign this guy up. <laughs> now that's going to put Michael Flowers at the line. Because that's the seventh team foul, so it'll be a one and one. Well, it's Benjamin with the pressure right there, creating that opportunity. But unfortunately for Pitt, they didn't get anything but a foul out of it. Well, and I think 
that Benjamin thought, or actually the guy that took the shot thought, that Benjamin thought he was going to be fouled. I think so too. And he was. Yeah, I think he was expecting it and he played to it. When he didn't get it, he was shot. Yep. So the net result of the steal and the fast break is two points for the bat. <laughs> <laughs> Ramon is on. He'll handle the ball and then give it up to Krauser. Young and Benjamin out there as well, along with Biggs, who's had a good second half. Really a great second half. I mean, Biggs has done everything his pit team could ask him to do. Krauser with it. The shot clock winds down to 15. And here's Young. Just over seven to play. Ramon's first shot of the game. Bending, bending, off and rebounded. Out of bounds. I'm not sure if Young got in there and caused him to lose the handle or what, but it went out of bounds. So the Panthers get a fresh clock and the basketball. The offensive rebounds, when you're playing in a game like this, they just kill you. Or, or really great for you, depending on what side you're on. Because <laughs> to, to play defense for 30 seconds and then have to do it right again. It's just so tough on you physically. Seven point difference, 58 51. Panthers now taking a little time as Flowers and Krauser are hooked up. And there's more contact underneath. Krauser nice. gives it back. Underneath and hitting the deck hard with his young. But he's got 13 points. Oh, that's going to hurt in the morning. He went down hard. Good possession for Pittsburgh, actually two possessions because they used a lot of the clock. No basket. The foul before the shot. It'll be a one and one instead. Well, this last score for Pittsburgh really was all started by Krauser. I mean, he did a great job with the ball of driving and finding the open man. I'll tell you what, Young went down hard right on his hip. That's hip pointer. And he thought he was fouled. What do you call? And what do you not call? Yeah, really, it is so tough. The first miss at the line for Orlando Tucker, and it comes in the front end of a one and one. Nine point difference right now. Pittsburgh has the lead and the ball. Six minutes to play. You talk about intense. Aaron Gray is set to return for the Panthers. He has played very few minutes in the second half, maybe one. 37 fouls. Biggs was going to shoot, couldn't get the handle. Krauser gives it up to Young, and he scores. <laughs> 15 for the freshman coming off a career high 16 in his last out. Taylor comes back outside. Flowers with a drive. No place to go. Good feed inside and a stuff by Marcus Landry who scores his first two. But it didn't come easy, did it? I mean, I mean Wisconsin having to really work the ball all over before finding that shot. Cuts into the double digit lead as Krauser gives it up to Young. Benjamin on there as well, along with Ramon. And big, very young team. Drive to the baseline will produce still another foul. And that one goes on Lambert. Let's take a look at our defensive player of the game, brought to you by Cooper Tires. Don't give up a thing. A steal, a block, three rebounds, and limited playing time for Levon Kendall. Yeah, he's done a great job. More than anything, guilty by association, this entire Pittsburgh team has played great defense, and he's been able to pick up a you know, steal, a block, and a, re and a couple rebounds. I think it is a little surprising, five minutes to go, one team has 60 points. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. And you know what else, John? I mean, is there any question these teams are ready for their res respective conferences? Well, I think we're seeing Big Ten basketball and Big East basketball. At its best right now. Young just one for three at the line. Landry and Steamsma back to the bench for the Badgers. Kendall is set to return for Pitt. And one out of two. 16 points. Second consecutive game that Young has had a career high. And Young will go to the bench along with Keith Benjamin. Gray is on. Kendall is on. Fields, the freshman, is on. DeGroote, the senior. Krauser, the senior. Less than five to play from the side. Chapel. That's just his second field goal. Both of them come in the second half. Eight point ball game.
Fields to Krause. And the Panthers will take a little time. Still 20 on the shot clock. The dump down to Gray. Gray has it knocked away and taken by Tucker. It's not easy to sit on the bench as long as Gray had him and step in and try and make some plays. That's Book against Kendall. Backs him down. Turns, leans in, scores. Nine for Brian Butch. Well, the biggest thing for Wisconsin is they're finding some other guys outside of Tucker to get some points, maybe relieving some of that pressure. Now, this is as close as they have been in the second half, thanks to a 6-1 run. And there's a runner off the glass. There's Greg Gray. Put back. And that's just his second field goal tonight, a guy averaging a double-double coming in. with the steal. Takes a bump. They've got numbers four on one. Gray lost it out of bounds, and that's what you talked about. Yeah. He's just trying to get into that flow, but he's been on the bench. Now the legs are fresh, but the body can't keep up. Panthers continue to lead. Tonight's Big East game has been brought to you by Nissan and your Nissan dealer. Cooper Tires, proud to be the official tire of the Big East Conference. Cooper Tires, don't give up a thing. And by Red Lobster, we do it all for the seafood lover in you. Before you go here. Before you attempt this. And before you even think about going there. You need to go here. Cooper Discoverer Tires, built to take you just about anywhere. Cooper Tires, don't give up a thing. Swings it out, Anderson, down low, boom, dunks, what a pass. McGee brings a double team and steals it from Thomas. The Dean, a three, good. Out to Krauser, three-pointer is good. It's showtime at the peak. Right of the lane, back to McNamara. Three on the way, right side, book it. Andy Foy, down the lane, pulls up off the glass, and good from eight feet right of the lane. Yeah, they can't stop it. Here's J.D. driving, kicking it right corner, Herbert for a three. Yes! yes! Foxwoods Resort Casino, 80 poker tables, a charter member of the World Poker Tour. Foxwoods has the only poker room in Connecticut. It is 65-57 with 3.42 to play. The Panthers lead the Badgers. It's been another good night for the freshman for Pittsburgh, Sam Young. Well, Sam Young's done a great job as a freshman of getting in there, mixing it up with the big guys from Wisconsin, and not backing down. And one of the things you'll see in the next two highlights are Charles Krause is creating for Sam Young. And that's something you have, the senior, the leadership, creating opportunities for the young guy, and Sam Young is taking advantage. Well, Young and Krause have combined for 36 points. The rest of the team has 20. Nine. Young and Krauser have taken 23 shots. The rest of the team has taken 23 shots. And it's working. And so far they've got the lead. Three and a half to go. Outside, Nixon, the senior back out there. This is Taylor working against the freshman fields. The dump down to Tucker. Working on Sam Young. Jumps in the lane, puts it up, ending good. Oh, what a game he's had. And nothing has come easy. He just noses his way in there. He's so strong in that athletic ability to go up inside. It's very hard to stop him. Uh, you go back to last year, and of course, the Badgers, an elite eight team. The Panthers were out in the first round of the NCAA. But this was a problem time of the game. The last three minutes for Pittsburgh was a real problem. They had a tough time finishing games. Well, they got a six-point lead. We'll see what they can do with it. Crowds are outside. Shot clock at 10. 
Carr, a little crossover dribble. Steps around, down the lane, puts up a runner, got it. Right now they're playing, can you top this? Yeah, what a shot by Krause. And a steal for Pittsburgh, but it goes into the hands of Chapel. Kicks it over to Nixon, the three-point specialist misses that one, scramble for the rebound. What a rebound effort. And then a held ball, a terrific, strong effort by Sam Young. And it's going to stay with Kinson ball because they've got the arrow. Well, just great hustle by Pittsburgh to get a hand on that. Some careless passing by Wisconsin in the last few possessions. As you see, Ray Nixon banks that one home. Just a, just a lot of pressure on the perimeter as these guys are shooting their shots and making it very difficult. We've had a lot of conversation all night between coaches and refs, players and refs, refs and refs. They haven't talked to us much. <laughs> Tucker inside. He gets the finish. That's 24 for Orlando Tucker. And the Badgers will not go away. 2.20 to go. Six-point ball game. We expected a dandy, and we are getting it here tonight. Orlando Tucker just is a scoring machine when he gets the ball right now. He's so smooth. And he's stronger than you think. You gotta be to play in this kind of game. It certainly is. Krauser. Chapel with the screen. Young from outside. That's too strong. And the rebound by Tucker. Chance for the Badgers to get within four. Less than two to play. Tucker stop and go move. Off the glass. Too strong. Follow. Goes in a foul. The follow goes in a foul. Well, what a way to crash the board by Jason Chappell. I mean, everybody is watching Tucker right now, and so if you're on Wisconsin, you've got to follow the ball and go to the hoop when Tucker does, and that's exactly what Jason Chappell does here. He gets not only the basket, but the foul as well. A chance to cut the lead down to three with a minute and 49 to play. Will this be the Achilles heel for the 05-06 Panthers? For now, we can say the 05 Panthers, because tomorrow we <laughs> That's right. We are on the campus of the University of Pittsburgh with a great basketball game matching the Big Ten and the Big East. Badgers still have three timeouts. Panthers have two. The team fouls about the same. We're both going to be in the double bonus from here on out. And the Panthers, after the held ball, do now have the possession arrow in their favor. I'm John Sanders along with Mike Kelly. Panthers have held nine straight to 60 or less. They had an 11 straight streak back when they scored a lot fewer points in the late <laughs> yeah. 40s. Yeah, it didn't mean as much back then. But you can see what, what great defense that Jamie Dixon's team plays. Just as a team, they are always in your face. Very physical, very intimidating, too. Not a good effort. By Chapel, a 77% free throw shooter. He was not close and a chance to cut it to three. So it's still the Panthers by four. We're in the last two minutes, almost an errant pass. Young is outside. He's picked up by Kravinoff, who's played a lot of minutes here tonight. Well, he's done a great job. And he's big, but he's also up left. Uh oh, the grown alone. Got it. Down the lane he came. His first basket in the second half makes it six points. Well, as a result of Wisconsin trying to pressure the ball, they created that chance. Kravinoff for three. Right there is DeGroat for the rebound. Hands it to Krause. That might have been too quick for Wisconsin. I think he tried to tuck the ball in that spot. Of course, if he makes it, then everybody's happy. Now he had only made two points, two three-pointers yeah. coming in. Yeah, I don't the think Panthers will work the clock inside a minute. Shot clock at 10. Fields. Stop and go. Runner off the glass. No good. That's a blocking foul. Hit over the line. Well, I kind of expect, Mike, that the last play of the game is going to be a foul. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can't draw it up any better for Pittsburgh. I mean, they used up all 35 seconds and then got a foul to go to the line. The foul was number four on Chapel. Fields have missed three straight. He hits a big one right there. And doesn't he play with so much confidence for a freshman? Now you'll see a lot more of him in the coming years. Browser will depart. Kravinoff goes to the bench. It's 
70, 63, got them both. So that's eight for LeVance Field. And right now the Panthers lead by nine with 44.8 to play. Well, now's the time for Wisconsin. Bo Ryan's got to figure out exactly what play he wants to run and then what their strategy is going to be. I think they're going to have to follow. There's just not enough time on the clock. Well, I would think that Alambo Tucker is going to be the guy to touch the ball. <laughs> you see what's coming up as Big Ten play begins, and that's not an easy road to start the season with Iowa at home, and they go to number nine, Michigan State, Minnesota. Well, before the month is over, they'll take on Ohio State. DePaul and Notre Dame will be the first two teams here. And then they have a, a terrific matchup coming up on the road at Louisville. But things have changed with the 16 teams. There was a period of time when the top teams in the league like Pitt, Syracuse, UConn, and Notre Dame all had to play each other twice every year no matter what for TV purposes. That has changed now with the expanded league. And that's a change for the better. I mean, it, it should be very fair on both sides for whoever has to play in those games, and it should be rotated. It's a good thing they went away from that. Chapel, Taylor, Flowers, Nixon, the senior, and of course Tucker on the court. Those are the five out there for the Badgers. Flowers all the way to the baseline, goes back to Chapel, reverses, misses the shot, and it's a rebound out of there. That's going to be a foul. He was riding the back of Gray. So the foul goes on Ray Nixon. Well, you knew points were going to be hard to come by. You take a look at the banging going on down low. Nice move by Chapman. Flowers got the ball in a good spot. You said Nixon was riding him. Plenty of room on the big fella, the big yeah. seven footer. He's got that big broad back. Aaron Gray has only four points in the game. And he has played limited minutes because of fouls, and it's shown. It certainly has. But the Panthers are 33. Seconds away as Kendall will return. He's going to come in for Gray. 33 seconds away from going 11 and 0. Remember in Jamie Dixon's first year they started 18 and 0. Went on to play Wisconsin in the in the game to go to the Sweet 16 in Milwaukee. And it was a game the Panthers were upset that they were seated that low. Maybe Wisconsin was. Upset that they were there too. There's Taylor. Too strong. Beautiful job to keep it alive by Flowers. Tipped out of bounds. It remains Badger basketball with 20 seconds to play. Great job by Flowers just to get his hand on it, create another chance for Wisconsin, but they're running out of time right now. 72 63. Again, it's Taylor. Baseline drive up and under, but nothing there. From his backside, he threw that one up. And that's going to be on Krauser, I believe, who was backing underneath Orlando Tucker. So Carl Krauser picks up his third foul. You know, you could almost call a foul on every yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that, that kind of a game. That wasn't exactly textbook offense, but right now you get it done by hooker by crook. Well, after making his first eight, he has missed his last two. Gray back in for that rebound as Kendall goes back to the bench. And it's going to be a timeout for Wisconsin with 13.2 to play. And you're right, Mike, they're simply running out of time. Here. Yep, I think that's the case. And if there's one thing with just 13 seconds on the clock and what looks like it's going to be a victory for Pittsburgh, I think both teams can take away that they played in an environment that's going to be similar to what they'll see for the next two months in their conferences and neither team back down. No. As I said, the other plus for Pittsburgh is once again, they went to their bench and guys like Fields, Young, Biggs all played well. I mean, they combined for 32 points, just those three guys alone, and that's good production. Oh, it's a great thing for Jamie Dixon and his squad. And then on the Wisconsin side, you saw a lot of Flowers and Landry and Kravinoff in there more than he usually is. But a lot of guys getting the minutes in a very tough game. This is a, a great game to prepare yourself for the conference. Now keep in mind, Jamie Dixon's early season success he has not lost a game in December as a head coach. One out of two. 25 point game for Alambo Tucker. And there's the quick foul given up by Flowers. And that's going to walk Levance Fields to the other end. 12.2 to play. And Pitt's going to hang on and get the win. But it was a 
real struggle. The Badgers could only get as close as six in the second half. So how long before teams won't play Pitt in December? <laughs> Just have to well, take a month off. They got to play in December, don't they? <laughs> because a lot of that success was built on non-conference play, and a lot of that success built here. The last time they lost in December was New Year's Eve, 2002. They lost at Georgia, and they're going to go to 37 and one in this building against non-conference opponents. So they just don't lose here. We'll take a quick three right here by Wisconsin to make things interesting. 73-64. Flowers thought he would launch it. He didn't. Tucker will. I'm surprised it didn't go. Chapel had the rebound knocked away by Kendall out of bounds. Stays here. I'll call a foul, right? <laughs> That's what we need to end yeah. this game. That's, really? That's the way we thought it was going to end. <laughs> Less than a second to play. Jamie Dixon will improve his December record. It remains perfect. And so do the Panthers in this season. That will do it. 73-64 Here's the final score. And it was a terrific basketball game, a very physical basketball game. Jamie Dixon, as a head coach, has never lost in the month of December. But hats off to these Badgers who came in here, faced a very physical team. They showed that they've got some guts of their own. Well, you said a hats off to both teams. They get the ice machines running right now. There's going to be lots of bruising. They need to ice down. But great job by both sides of staying within their game, playing a hard-fought basketball game. And right now, Pittsburgh was just too much at home. Orlando Tucker leading with 25 points. Carl Krauser had 22, but he got some help from the bench. Levance Fields with 10, and Sam Young for the second game in a row, a career-high 16 points. So there was a little more balance for Pittsburgh, and they used it to pick up their 11th win of the season. They get set for Notre Dame coming in here next week. And Wisconsin will go home to host Iowa, and we wish both teams good luck in conference play. It promises to be very interesting in both the Big Ten and in the Big East Conference, the expanded Big East Conference. If you like physical play, we had it here tonight. A matchup of the Big Ten and the Big East, and for tonight, the nod goes to the Pitt Panthers. They win it 73 to 64 for our entire crew here in Pittsburgh at the Peterson Event Center. I'm John Sanders along with Mike Kelly. We certainly thank you for joining us. We wish all of you a happy and safe New Year. We look forward to conference play. This has been a presentation of ESPN Regional Television. Good night.